where we do our best talking, apparently. Either that or we're just in the car a lot. I don't know, but it doesn't feel like we are. We'd really like to be in the car on a road trip all across the country and going to baseball games and that's seeing all the United States history and, and our family history. That's that's really what we want to do yeah. every single month, take a road trip. Is that wrong? No. No, unfortunately, we weren't blessed with stacks of money, but... We aren't giving up on our dreams. We'll just, we'll make it work someday. But yeah, that's what we want to do. We love to go see American history and, and family history. That's another thing I want to do is drive across the country. We've got some family ties clear back to Massachusetts in the 1600s. Some didn't come here till much later, but still would love to travel and see it. I want to. You should tell the story about Inez's ancestor on the Mayflower. Oh, okay. I'll have to do that another time. Okay, we won't do that <laughs> I have to go look at it again before I do something spontaneous. <laughs> or Inez could tell the story on her own channel well, if she wants true. to. That's true. But um, anyways, we um, are on our way to town to do our weekly grocery shopping. Hopefully we're going to pick up some ingredients for some different meals. So some of you have asked for more recipes and we're going to try some new things because we're pretty simple. I, like I said before, we can bake up a potato and put vegetables all over it and salsa and, and uh, yeah, call it a meal. So, But I did find a recipe that I want to try. I might get it started today. It's a crock pot recipe, so we'll see. We're going to buy a crock pot too. <laughs> because our crock pot is about as old as we are. <laughs> well, maybe not quite. Anyway, <laughs> it was our mom's and, and even though it's... it's it has Paul, okay. Revere, has Paul Revere stamp on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old it is. It's, it's one of those that the inside does not come out so you can wash it easily. So you've got to put the whole crock pot in the sink and try not to get the cord wet. And, and yeah, it's old. So we're going to we're gonna get a new crock pot today. So, so that's on the agenda. We're also going to go get a new window. That was not originally on the agenda. We, as we've said, we live in our parents' home and uh, it was their home in 1947 and then it was their home again in 1987. Then in the in-between they had a home where we grew up and, uh, and once dad retired it was back to his hometown. Yeah, absolutely. So we have been slowly fixing things. You know, the windows in this house are 30 years old and we replaced all the windows but three a few months ago. We were going to hold off on these other three but we had a 24 hour rain the last week which we appreciated and loved. We need it because we're in a drought situation. But unfortunately, we discovered we have an indoor swimming pool with that rain. <laughs> By one of our windows. By one of our windows. Fortunately, it has a really, it's kind of a bay pipe window, so it had a huge ledge, so it didn't get on the floor. But I looked in that window and thought, well, that is interesting. If I had Barbies, I'd go put them in there because they could know. swim. <laughs> the casings on that window were done by a guy in our little hometown back in 1947. They're so cool. They're just, they're just white wood casings in the window. It's a bay type window, as she said. And around frames of framing type casing around the, the edge of the window. It, they are so cool. We don't want the water to ruin that. No, I was afraid of that casing last week. from 1947. I had stuffed towels in the window and as I was looking to see where the water was coming in at, I could see that the uh, there was a seal, the seal had broken on it, because you know, I guess after 30 years it starts to wear down. I guess we all do, but, but Mom it could and Dad, be. It, Mom and Dad had the windows replaced when they moved back after Dad retired and they remodeled the house. And that was one of the things they did. That's why the windows are newer than the original part of the house. Mm -hmm. So, so we're off to go purchase a new window, which will leave us just two to replace after that. So it was on the list, it just wasn't number one on the list, but that's kind of what we do on this house is we fight fires. Yeah. Everything, when it starts telling us it needs attention is when we go get it done. And we have no intention of ever getting rid of this house. It is where I intend to die. And I probably am going to stay here for the rest of my life unless God takes me on a different path. And if he does, I hope he takes me where there are beautiful mountains. We have beautiful mountains, but I want to stay in that kind of environment where I see snow in the winter, green in the summer, and really what I want is to walk out and see the Rocky Mountains. If you've never driven I-70 to Denver and gone over the Rocky Mountains, especially, um, I know going, going from Kansas, and we've gone both ways, um, you don't get quite the view. If you go from Utah, oh my 
gosh, is that a drive? If you've never done that, you need to put that on your bucket list. And yes, indeed, Bossy, you need to put that on your bucket list because that is beautiful to go up past Bell and all of those. So my dream is I want a cabin in Wyoming at the foot of the Rocky Mountains where I walk out and see them. And I don't necessarily even have to live there. I just want to be able to go there and stay for weeks or in the summer or something. But we do like our little town. I don't get attached to a lot of things. I, I'm a lousy friend. I don't nurture relationships and I have no attachments. How's that for a stellar person? But I, though I am a little obsessed with my yarn and my shoe collection, I'm not sure how to take those with me when I die because I don't think you can be buried in a motorhome. But if I can make it work out, I'm going to because I don't want to leave them behind. But anywho, I, uh, I do have a little obsession with those. Not even clothes. I'm not even a clothes person, but I do like shoes. I like shoes too. So My other obsession is my fabric. Yeah, we need a house just for that. For just the, a craft house. Just that's a craft all. house. But anyways, that's, that's we intend to stay in this little town, this little house, unless God tells us to go somewhere else. And, and uh, then I hope he sends the money to do that. <laughs> Because we don't have it to go somewhere else. But it just, I really am more attached to history. And that's what I like about this little town is the history of the house. That our great-grandparents' house still, is still standing next door to our house. And the property we're on used to be part of our great-grandparents' property. Plus, just the history of this town where our dad grew up means the world to us. I don't really get attached to houses much. I, I've lived quite a few places in my adult life. And... I'm not even attached to my childhood home. I don't really care what happens to it, but this one I am attached to. So we are going to get new windows. We're going to keep doing things to it. We're going to put flooring in, and uh, that's probably going to be our projects, along with all our crafting and our little businesses that we keep dreaming of doing, uh, dreaming up with our cupcake business and all of that. We're going to just keep pressing on, and when we can afford it, we're going to travel, darn it. I want to see the world. So, so that's that. And now, just in a few minutes, our sister Gladys suggested we talk a little bit about the attitudes we grew up with about obesity. I don't even know what to say, but Sandy's got some things. I guess just, you know, it just, when we were growing up, I remember people telling me, you have such a pretty face if only you were thin. Like, that was a compliment to tell you that, because I still was reminding you that you were, you had something wrong with you in their eyes. So, the Sandy's got some things. But we grew up in an era with Twiggy. So if you were the size zero, then you were considered overweight. And and as we've said before, we were um, chubby kids, and, and it was there was someone uh, in our family who um, made sure that we knew that we were chubby and remarked on that. And and I remember one time I was somewhere and I got mosquito bites all over my legs, and this person said. Well, of course you've got mosquito bites. You've got so much fat on your legs or something like that. Anyway, that's, that's, that's the attitude that there was a person in our lives. But it wasn't just him. It was kind of a common attitude um, in, that, in the times that we were growing up. Because of, of the, at that point, like I said, if you weren't a size zero, then you were fat. Anyway, um, I looked up, someone mentioned something about comfort eating, and I looked up some things on comfort eating, and, and the things that I looked up said that, you know, comfort eating can be caused by a lot of things, by stress, by um, just different feelings that you're experiencing in your life, and what this doctor, it was, I can't remember which doctor, it was Dr. Hyman or Dr. Axe, or one of the ones we like to follow, said that, when you feel, when you're going in to get a comfort food that you shouldn't be eating, stop and wait for five minutes and talk to yourself. You know, and just ask yourself, am I really hungry? Do I really, am I going to eat this because I'm hungry? Another uh, post suggested that you start writing things down. What are your feelings at the time when you go for the comfort food? My belief, and I think Edie's belief too, is that a lot of the times we go for those foods because of food addictions. Yes, there is comfort eating, I'm not disqualifying that, but I think a lot of the times we, we go for those foods because food can actually be addictive if it's not the right kind of food. I read an article by Dr. Hyman that said, 
said that um, sugar affects the brain the same way as cocaine and heroin does. And this was this is scientific evidence. They did brain scans, PET scans is what they're called. Um, people in pits react to sugar the same way people react to drugs, to hard drugs. It does the same thing with dopamine, and I can't remember the exact words that he used in that. But it is just, and fats, sugar and bad fats are the same way. They, you can actually become addicted to them. He also mentioned the processing that food um, makers do. They do so much processing to their foods, and a lot of it is secretive, and, and nobody knows exactly what they're doing. And all of that processing also can add things to it that can affect your brain in those ways and make make those foods actually addictive. Um, they, he also said that when in these studies with uh, pets and animals or animals and humans compared to drug addicts, the effects were almost exactly the same. The more sugar and bad foods, fats that bad fats that you ate your body got used to them and the more you crave them just like a drug addict does so just just something you know as to think about do your research look up the article by dr hyman i wish i could remember the name of it but i can't but um, he has a couple of different articles on food addictions and i just find it very interesting i think that if we stick to well okay well i don't even think this this is this is in all kinds of information if you stick to whole foods one ingredient food that are grown in the earth. In fact, he said something, let me see. Oh, foods that come from a plant that aren't made in a plant. Those are the foods that you need to stick to. So that's my advice for today for people who are struggling with this type of thing. Stick to whole foods. Do your, do your research on comfort eating, which is different from food addictions, but they both can affect our, our eating habits a lot. And, and I, I would do my research on that. It's very interesting information, and again, the healthier you eat, the less those foods will affect you, and the less addictive that, uh, addictiveness that you will have to those. Well, and that's what we've learned in our journey, is that we were huge uh, sugar addicts. I didn't think I'd ever be able to give, give up sugar, but once we did, we never craved it again. It was easier than we thought. It really was, just giving it up, and so that kind of proves the Dr. Hyman, Dr. X point as well. And we grew up when really the only way that they knew how to curb obesity was counting calories. And that works so well that more people are obese now than they ever were before. So that is not the solution. One more thing. I can't, again, I can't remember which doctor said this, but the amount of, the least amount of calories that you be, should, should be eating in a day is 10 times your weight. So if you weigh 150, then the least amount of calories you should weigh, or you should eat during a day, is 1,500. If you eat less than that, then your body isn't getting the nutrients in it and, and the, what it needs for, it, it goes, it slows your metabolism down, is what it does. So, and then that is counterintuitive to losing weight, if that's what you're trying to do. Just, you need to, it's more about eating the right foods, not less food. Yeah, you shouldn't have to count anything if you're eating a well-balanced, healthy diet. But anyways, that's our tips for today. We're gonna to go now buy a window. And yay, window. And, uh, yeah, they are expensive. No, said no, no, because we now need to buy shutters because once we take down the, the <laughs> uh, blinds for it, they aren't going back up for the two reasons. The 30-year-old rose-colored blinds, because back in the 80s, uh, the color rose was a very big interior decorative color. Yeah, they're, they're uh, old and they're ugly and once they come down they can't go back up because they're broken so yeah. <laughs> we're barely hanging they're barely holding on so anyways hopefully that was enlightening for you or you're still hanging in there with us either way we appreciate you and we appreciate your comments and your suggestions so have a great day